for guitar players, visiting Dave's Guitar Shop is an awe-inspiring experience. Upstairs, owner Dave Rogers' collection of vintage guitars grew to become a museum of electric guitar history. Fenders, Gibsons, Rickenbacker, Gretsch, Paul Reed Smith. I have personal favorites like, you know, Fender Stratocasters, Fender Telecasters, Gibson Les Pauls, Gibson ES-335s. I mean, the stuff that, you know, everybody wants. Though worth a fortune, the guitars in Dave's collection are not for sale. We try to save, like, the best example of whatever of those versions there are. Like on the Fenders, the desirable years are from about 1950 up to about 1965. So we try to have one of every year of the best example of that. So starting over there, you've got a 54 Strat, 55 Strat, just continuing on. And uh, some of them are custom colors. Some of them uh, have odd features about them. And then over here, we've got the Telecasters. This is a 1953 Telecaster. Again, considered like the best year for Telecasters. My older brother played guitar in a band and uh, you know, you always look up to your older brother and everything like that. I'd go follow him around, watch him play at the Teen Youth Center in Marshfield. Probably actually started picking it up a little more seriously, 10, 11 years old. With my brother playing, he had a great album collection in, in the house. I remember looking at Derek and the Dominoes, the Eric Clapton album and, and his uh, Strat was laid out there with a bunch of dominoes laying all over it, and I was like going, if I could ever get a 50 Strat in Sunburst, I'd, you know, I'd never need another guitar the rest of my life or whatever. And now that I own some, I'm, I'm, I'm like going, this is like a dream come true for me, you know, pinch me, I, you know, wake me up. I never made a living in a band. I, you know, I, I was never good enough for that. I, I tried to make a living playing guitar, and that was a rough living, and, uh, you know, lived in a lot of Campbell's soup, I guess, you know. Dave scaled back his musical ambitions and opened his guitar shop in 1982. I could still play and have fun, but I'd be working with guitars, a thing I really love. I had 15 guitars of my own, and I just put them all out for sale just to get the business going. And that was hard to do, because I mean, that was my lifeblood, you know, that, that was everything I had collected up until that point, but uh, just every dime I took in at the shop, I, I just reinvested in the shop just to build inventory. Dave didn't start rebuilding his own collection until years later, when a business deal went wrong. A friend of mine wanted this guitar that was down at a shop in Iowa that I knew of, and it was a very rare color, 57 Strat. He said, get that for me and I'll buy it for you, from you. So I bought it and I had to beg, borrow, and steal it to get the money to buy this guitar. And. Uh, the guitar came in, and the guy came and looked at it. He says, oh, it's not clean enough. I don't want it. And I was like going, oh, no. You know, what am I going to do here? But I was just like going, well, this guitar is just the coolest guitar ever. So you can see that uh, it's definitely gotten some use. And that was the first guitar of the collection now. I, I ended up keeping that one. It turned out that the turquoise Stratocaster was exceedingly rare and highly sought after. There's a picture of Eric Clapton playing it up there. At the time, he was interested in buying it, and unfortunately, I, I had to say no, so. Money has never really meant a whole, whole lot to me, so I mean, there's, there's been a lot of times where I'll be like going, oh boy, I, should I eat or should I buy this guitar or whatever, and I always opt for buying the guitar. And there's been a lot of times where we've been offered exorbitant monies for, for some of these guitars that, it, you know, it, it just, it's never tempted me, really. But I almost feel like they're not my guitars. I'm just kind of tending them for the next generation. So it's just like, I never feel like I own this stuff. It's not a possession thing. It's just like, I'm taking care of them. And to me, to not share them with the people that would come in, it would be like a greedy thing or something like that. Like, oh, no, 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 these are my guitars or whatever. They're not my guitars. I'm just, I'm just taking care of them right now.